Right, it's about half seven in the morning and it's an absolutely beautiful day at Minehead. This is a day after the restrictions are lifted. So, I've left Carl lying in bed for the change. It's normally the other way around. But I woke up. Well, all I could hear was birds singing and the sound of the water. So I thought I'd get my arse out of bed and get out. Birds were loud and it was oh, lovely. I wish I'd got up straight away. Just walking the knocking monster. Overcliff Park again because it's right by the side and um, by the side where we parked up. I mean, just took the other path, there's no one on this one. A massive, oh, I just love birds. Anyone know what that is? Let me know. If you can hear it. David from Desmond's Donders, you'll probably know. Look like it had a punky hairdo. Said it's too early in the morning for uphill walks. I think I tend to agree. Isn't it lovely? Right, gonna make me ride back down, we knock it. I'm knackered and I'm on a morning cup of tea. Right, we're still in Minehead. We decided to stop a second time since it's so nice. We've had a walk into the town to post a letter, get a bit of shopping in Morrison's, which is a 10 minute walk. And then we're back now, gonna chill for a bit, have something sweet. And then that's it, move on tomorrow. Maybe, maybe not. I just thought I'd show you the sunset, it's not very bright, but you can have a look. At And you can hear the lovely waves splashing, which does sound really nice. You can hear them all night when you're in bed. Really nice sound. What a lovely view to wake up to in the morning. There's still the water is. People canoeing and paddle boarding. Oh, you don't start. The... You... Open the lens so you can see the... Uh, the look, hand. he wants me to do this <laughs> so he knows to start talking. Know what that means? Cutting his winky off if you don't Ooh. bloody do it. Right. We are leaving Miner today. We're going to go get some LPG, get some fuel, maybe some extra food, I don't know. And then we're going to go up the famous Pollock Hill. Hopefully there's nothing up there, but Ellen did mention it today, which means there's going to be someone blocking us, because she's cursed us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're going to go up to Exmoor, 
spend a couple of nights up there. There's a place up there where we can get some water, chill for a bit, stay there a few days. The weather's supposed to be nice for the next easily four or five days, so it's going to be absolutely gorgeous up there. Be a sunbathing, oh, get me funny. flabby bits out. <laughs> funny, isn't it? That's it. Gross. Bye. Right, see you later. Bye. Right, we've just been for a quick walk and then we go in. Just wanted to show you how gorgeous it was today. So still. Like a mirror. Right, this is the infamous Porlock Hill where we got stuck of the ambulance. If you haven't seen that video, it's in the Exmoor Somerset playlist. Or just fall back and watch that one.
We are currently at County Gate Car Park on Exmoor. And conversion over there. Right. Lovely views from here. Plenty of people overnight here. We have a couple of times, but we tend to go to the other spot. Small circular footpath there. Oh, I can't see properly. You come out there. But if you've got a dog, check the dog for ticks. Where that footpath is there, you can walk all the way down there, but it is quite a steeper hill downwards over the river to Malmesmead. She's got a lovely stone bridge and a forge you can drive through. Obviously not if you're in a massive motorhome, but the walk back up is a killer. National Trust have took it over. A couple of campsites down there as well. Lovely little town. We stopped off here because when we had put everything back in the motorhome, Carl forgot the um, funnel to pour the water in. So we got two 20 litre jerry cans that we can't get in the motorhome because basically is that to make a funnel out of the top of a Diet Coke bottle? I mean luckily we even had, we had that because we don't drink out of plastic bottles but we did buy one luckily so it's had to cut the end off and we're having to use that as a funnel and if you use these as jerry cans it's going to pour absolutely everywhere so I'm having to go out there with him so we're having to fill up from the toilet block a little 10 litre one and a little 5 litre one that we had I was just explaining. What are you? What do you mean? Why am I? A doofus. Is it my fault? Yeah. Things went. I had to strip everything out for the ab check, and things just forgetting to put back. Yeah. Look in. Right. So this is what we're having to do. Right. <coughs> and then this is what we're having to do. Can we get the funnel? So we're going to find a bloody shop. I'm sure there's one in the middle of Exmoor, ain't there? Yeah. So, all good fun when you're in a motor, eh? And the hand's freezing. We decided to stay here for a few hours because it's lovely views, as you can see. And a beautiful sunny day. You can see that as well. We're going to take Nookie for that little walk I showed you earlier. And then we're going to get the blankets out, sit outside. Yeah, Carl's going to fly the drone. There he is. Oh, yeah, we're going to get, I can't remember what I've said now. But yeah, he's going to fly the drone, I think. <laughs> Can't remember completely lost track. Right then, bye. Yeah, we're gonna get the air fryer out and have some chips. That's what I was gonna say. Right, bye.
All right, so we're going back to the Marjoram now, which you can see all the well, way, say all the way over there, it's about five minutes. Looks like someone's got a fire as well. So I'll see you in a bit. Yesterday, when we were going to go out and walk Nook, Bro was doing a bit of hand washing first to practice. Carl went outside with the dog waiting for me and somebody came and spoke to me. And then they said that they followed us on YouTube. So that was our first subscribers. Well, they might not subscribe, but they definitely watch us. Um, yeah, first ones that we've met and who have come and spoke to us. And we had a natter, gave them a sticker. So we just wanted to say hello to Sally and Guy from Litchfield. And it was nice of you to come and have a chat, wasn't it? It was, yep. Yeah. Very nice. Might see you again. Yeah. So, just wanted to give you a mention. What are you doing, Mr. B? Doing chips. Yeah, skin on fries. There you go. Skin All on big fat chips, Eva. Chips are in. Right, chippies for dinner. Sun is shining. Well, it was. Gone a bit cloudy, but batteries are doing really well yeah a yep. lovely air fryer look so we can have look electric off grid proper electric off grid because we've got lots of solar panels oh wrong bit look at our leisure batteries can you see that oh 14.8 and we've been off grid how many nights now three nights yeah, yeah, done three nights off grid so far. Yeah. Got lots of solar, haven't we, Orgs? We have, yes. Let's turn it on. There's our switch to turn it on if you'd like to show people. I don't know what I'm looking at, but there you go. There you go, uh, my light. There you go, Push all lit up, look. And my stabiliser for the fridge. Stop the fridge dropping down because of yeah. the oldest being crap. That's the bottom of the frame. Yes, and then... And then we can turn it on. Yeah, yeah. that was him not pressing the button properly, not because yeah. he ain't working. Let's we'll get a timer on. 25 minutes, I think, to start off yeah. with. There you go. All cooked. Egg, chips and beans. Yum, yum. Did it yeah. use yummy? Egg, chips and beans, can't beat it. 